PT here on stream over at Xeno Weekly. Yeah, definitely been experimenting a lot more with the mm -hmm. PT. And I feel like, in general, versus Hero, it feels a lot more like a PT matchup yes. than, say, Diddy Kong. I absolutely agree, because I have played this matchup many a time, and it absolutely sucks. Especially if you're staying as Squirtle versus Hero. Ver Hero has awful air speed, is very difficult to get out of a lot of uh, Squirtle's combos, and also just hard to hit Squirtle, as you know, with Zapple. Yeah, no, Zapple in particular, just because it hits that, like, sweeping mm -hmm, range, yeah. except for the floor, where yeah. Squirtle is. <laughs> it hits everybody, but, like, Squirtle's head, and it's the worst thing to deal with as a hero main, where you want to keep distance from someone like Squirtle. This is a raw floor smash out the block? Okay. Sure. Why not? And, and we were talking before about Squirtle. I feel like Squirtle is so huge in this matchup, just because... Uh, because Hero has a hard time keeping him out, it's going nice. to be so much harder for Vivi to set up those buffs. But Vivi was able to get quite a few buffs, especially with the Accelerator Rattle online. Going to be able to get a little bit more space from the Squirtle. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Now, what we're seeing here is finally a reset to, you know, two stocks apiece. We have uh, Psych Up active and Vivi wisely keeping a, um, a mid-range distance away from the Ivysaur because of that um, that um, carrying like, the, the Nair. There's so much, so much for, for Ivysaur in this matchup. Yeah, and I feel like... Nice patience. In this, in this particular matchup, it feels like Pekko really has to be the one to force the issue. Mm -hmm. Because we saw Pekko stall just a nice. second at ledge. Great back air catching Vivi coming out from ledge. But we saw Pekko stalling just for a second at the ledge. Vivi, walk back to center stage, get psych up. Like, any time you are giving Vivi the smallest amount of time, they're going in that menu, seeing what they can mm -hmm. find. You have to, you know, the menu is all the command menu is always a really good option. Why Hatcher, Hatcher Man? Huge punish for Rekko. <laughs> but uh, the menu is really good both for you know getting wherever you need buff buff wise, or for just um, baiting at your opponent and waiting for them to approach you. And you had the opportunity to punish them for that um, that bait. That was Ooh, funny. That was funny. Of bait. That was funny. That wasn't even bait. That was straight up like a bear trap. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That, Vivi's foot got caught and they got forest smashed for it. Now, what, what happened here is, of course, Vivi did try going for a, a recovery off the ledge just by jumping, and unfortunately, Peko just had that yep. read going because heroes do really like using that really big vertical motion of the um, forward air uh, as they're coming back from a jumping from the ledge. Yeah, so Vivi, really Peko. Vivi tried to come out of the, come off of the uh, the ledge aggressively, and Peko just said, "I bet." I bet. <laughs> I, I see you. Pekka was like, you're going to charge a force on me? Watch this. And it was the same story for uh, the second stock as well. Vivi tried to get aggressive off of the ledge and ran their face into a Charizard back air. Yep. Happened multiple times that back air, the, that tail really becoming in clutch sometimes, you know, as, uh, as Charizard. But here we go. We're going to be wanting to start off as Squirtle against Hero just to grab us a percentage and also keep Hero where he's uncomfortable. Can't really STI very easily outside of Squirtle's combos. Oof, but just the, the down air just says, get off of me. Mm -hmm. Biggest thing I've learned from other PT mains that I, I've uh, fought against, you know, uh, Sauce being one of them, is the biggest thing you can do against Squirtle as Hero is shield and whoosh out shield multiple times to get your perfect range. And I'm glad that he was doing that a little more often. Now the Ivysaur coming out just to have a little more heaviness to them and also just to keep themselves in a mid-range um, position. Psych Up was online though, but Pekko shielding both hits of the forward tilt. Psych Up back online. You can see if VV can't convert using it, but now getting put back off stage by the Ivysaur. There we go, finally seeing the Zapple come out, catching Pekko off guard. I'll be really careful staying in the air too long against someone like Charizard versus Hero just because Charizard's mobility in the air is so good. You know, that, that triple jump does come in handy. Yeah, and as well, just the large, long-lasting hitboxes of things like Up Smash can be great at anti-airing Vivi coming down from Zoom. Now, Vivi gets to... Oh my doesn't God. get to play <laughs> the stock lead. Again, that back air is doing, doing wonders for Pekko in this matchup throughout these two games, uh, throughout this whole set, really. So here we go, Ivysaur once again catching the third rattle mid-jump, and now we gotta keep Hero in the air as much as we can just because of his really uh, poor air speed. And Pekko coming down aggressively from the uh, the down throw there, and catching Vivi off guard, Vivi not able to find too much out of the accelerator there. Now bounce online, has Charizard at the... <gasps> oh, okay. 
I got excited before he even, before like Hero even like casted it. It's fine. Vivi just F smashed. Vivi just like, with, with no crit, the second one, no crit, is what no. I say. So sad. You really hate to see it, but here's Oomph active for now 12 seconds. What can Peko do? I'm, I'm as well, also, I really want to mention Peko's incredible patience this, this uh, past few games. Nice. Like, great roll through the Zapple, getting Peko back into center stage where he can start pressuring Vivi. All this damage so far with Ivysaur, not even having to use Razor Leaf. <gasps> I laugh. I laugh. You were safe though, but I laugh. <laughs> So I believe um, Peko was actually in the air during the snooze animation, and you are snooze for a little bit oh. less time uh, if you're caught by in the air than if you were yep. grounded. All right, not able to find nice. this down air, but catches Vivi jumping out off of the ledge, and Peko able to get that Ivysaur up air, bringing things to even stocks. And I mean, we've seen how early Peko can explode these hero mm -hmm. stocks, so certainly not out of the realm of possibility. Already having Charizard on deck. Not able to Ooh, convert. Yep. Oh, Charizard. Your shield, yep, yep. Your shield was so low. Yep. Yep. The Kazap as well. To love the really, flashy finish. Right. Love it. So unfortunately for Peko, um, from the first attack, I think it was like uh, I think it was like near back air. Oh, sorry, back air. Um, shield doesn't break complete with only oomph active. We'll see it right now. Oh, it was a little bit before this, but. The shield was so low we saw previously, and mm. shooting again is so unsafe against Hero because that those are still very strong aerials that he has. You know, Hero is a very his his aerials are very very strong. So Vivi being um, them being able to recognize the, that shield air, that shield pressure, that insane shield pressure really was super super good on them. Absolutely, that was that crazy. That was just a raw crazy back. I love that. F smash. Just caught Peko dashing in from the ledge. Hero. Boom, because that, that was just, it's just a cute little, cute little animation for Hero. It's so cool. Big big Hero fan. <laughs> big Hero <laughs> Me fan. Me too. So here we go. Running over, going over to uh, regular Battlefield now. That third platform, hopefully Peko will be using it to their advantage. Yeah, we've seen Peko getting some really great platform conversions in the, uh, in the previous games, whereas I feel like the third platform does not do much for Hero in the slightest. I feel like Hero really likes those platforms that are low to the ground that offer cover. Yes. So that they can really get into those menus and get all of the buffs. You're completely right. Absolutely. The double uh, platform setups are very good for Hero just because you have a top air to kind of get menu and also a little house underneath we can get menu at. That top platform would be really good for um, for ending Hero up, in the t up, up, up the top as a Ivysaur or a Charizard. Yep, all right, Psych Up online, Psych Up back air, not going to be taking it quite yet from center stage. But now Accelerottle online, going to see if VV can make much of it. Using the Accelerottle to make their landing ambiguous, which is definitely awareness from the stage. Because the platforms offer so much conversion potential for uh, Pokemon Trainer, as well as yep. just trapping potential, it can be so difficult to get through the platforms. So, you know... VD made great use of the Accelerator right there and able to get the first stock in Game 3 as well. Absolutely, and VD's only continuing this off this barrage up until up until Charizard was like, nah, actually, I lied. Actually, back air. Actually, um, back air. Um, <laughs> once more. But here we go, VD, I, I think that they finally found like the, the perfect space they really want to, to hassle with, with Echo over. There's a little bit more mid-range, because getting too much of Squirtle is what happens. You get 37% already, and now you're off on the stage, and you are trapped now with Ivysaur at the handle with that extended uh, with these extended disjoints. Yeah, this is really sort of the Peko that we saw in game one with these really great ledge trappings, Beautiful. especially catching Vivi coming off aggressively. And the, the, the second that Vivi came off, uh, like just neutral get up into like crouch and shield, they were able to get back into center stage. So that's you know just great adaptation from Vivi, really slowing down the aggression and making sure that they're not eating a huge whiff punish. Yeah, and Pekka has to be really careful Ooh. here. Vivi does have Psych Up active, and uh, you know we've seen it earlier. One back air is pretty much it for um for for Ivysaur at this percentage with Psych Up active. Yep, the vine whip through the ledge, putting Vivi off stage, but F tilt now. That is oomph online wow, and an nice. oomph back air. 
BB, you should have done whack. <laughs> Either way, the job was in fact oh. done, whack or without. Here we go, BB once again here here with two stocks, very high percentage, and Charizard hard hitter, heavyweight, should be able to live much longer, and there is that double uh, up smash. The scoops! Mm -hmm. I didn't know Charizard up smash went that far forward. I mean, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ooh, nice! Combos! Nice! Off of the, off of the uh, edge of Kaboom. Really good conversion that BB was able to, uh, to uh, display. And now stuck on the top platform is BB. What was that in it? I don't, it looked I, like... I, I don't know. <gasps> Otra oh, vez another again! One? Yeah, that's it. And another Kazap. Why, oh. would you, why would you rob me of the best frame of the game? Oh! Hero's so cool! Hero's so cool! The chairs have cat ears on them. <laughs> wait, the chairs do? <gasps> they, they do! They don't? Yeah, they wait. They Oh, they do, do. They actually do. <laughs> Peko, <laughs> Peko's that. face. Look at Peko's face. Can you see my Peko's face? Incredible. Uh. Incredible display. The thing, the issue is, of course, that um, Hero does have that shoe-breaking factor. That's always very scary to think about. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's scary. Happens twice. Happens twice in the entire set. Shield break, boom. You're dead. Yep. Mapeko was doing so, so well. I think in, in the entire set, Peko was actually doing a very incredible job of keeping up with Vivi and the hero um, with PT. However, biggest thing was, yeah, these little yeah. random F smash moments. I, <laughs> not even, I could react to that, but yo, why'd you do that? <laughs> why? Where's the, there's no audio? No. <laughs> we just have... <laughs> we just have silence. It's just like, it feels like, okay, so... I had like the epiphany of like the one silent um like music selection eerie, yeah. and I was like this feels like when they choose that like that one song <laughs> Oh you mean like, like the like, environmental noises Yeah it's just environmental noises <laughs> or or it's that one Tekken song where it's like it's like lyrical and then it's like a 10 second silent <laughs> pause I was like am I I hear myself too much I hear too much of like my own like right voice like what's going on it's too echoey hello not actually but you know what I mean like there's like no there's no ambiance Right? Scared, but either way, <laughs> either way, this is scary. Either way, we have uh, numbers and mega coming up next on um, on stream. Oh, th there we go. Thank you. Oof. I was getting scared. I was getting anxious. Like a, a wave of relief. I was like oh, Just, it was good. <laughs> it's getting a little too quiet. It feels like I was in a horror movie. It's got all quiet and stuff. <laughs> but 